Pokemon Horizons episode 60. Yeah, last time Dot fought Larry. And I kind of wish Dot wouldn't have what's called passed the test. I think I would like to see Dot fail the test. Of course, my neighbors are drilling, in case you're hearing that. Oh well, my, my neighbor. Well, they're not drilling, they're cutting it's things with a saw. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, um, they're going to go towards the Rico place, right? Yeah, so they're... I think I remember that this episode was called something with a camp. <coughs> and I like seeing a Pokemon with a scarf. It's like, oh, you know what? That's smart. I can just use my Goodemin. Outfit. Like, don't expose me in public. You're like, Roy, you're going to die if you do that. You know, you're going to get a uh, frostbite. So maybe you should. You know what? I say all that stuff, so you know, Roy, go like that. <coughs> Ross, he's never seen snow before. <coughs> all right, so he's like, oh, so lucky. Not a little lucky. So it's a good thing I actually decided to wear more stuff. Okay. Oh, poor Dot. But Roy seems to be dealing with it very well. <coughs> I think maybe it would be if it, if Roy was suffering a bit because, like I said, he's from very warm area, so his body might not be used to the cold. But no, it seems like. Maybe they're going to be like, ah, oh, Roy's passion, his fire, is what's keeping him warm. Oh, I don't know, I really love this uh, little segment of the song, When They Dance. It's probably my favorite part when it comes to the visuals. I think I say that every single time I watch it, but I don't know, I just really love it. And you know, the show sang right there, so I hope we see her in this episode. Maybe, because you know, she has a Glalie. So probably would be really good like terrain for her. And I assume her Glalie doesn't have Moody, it has... What other abilities does Glalie have? Does it have like... Yeah, like Frostlass, you know, the thing where if it's snowy, your evas evasiveness goes up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever used a Glalie outside of like Pokemon Showdown. Alright, so slush. I mean, yeah, moving. Like, moving a bit. Yes. Throw, throw it in. Uh, 
Oh, oh look. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it's a bergmite. I just got look. There's a geyser right over there. A hot spring. I think it would be really cool to see what a main character would a uh, god. Oh, a frigibax. Was there a frigibax here? I hate how it looks. I, I despise this entire evolution line. The pseudo legendary of this gem. Yeah, it looks horrific. They're like, get out, get out of here. You already have food with your trainer, all right? There's no... Oh. Ah, is that why? Okay, no, no, she didn't see a Frigibax. Uh, the Pokedex. Oh, and here's the actual Frigibax. The Pokedex said that uh, Berkmite doesn't like Frigibaxes. I'm on your side, Bergmite. I actually like Avalog more than, even though it's not a Pokemon I necessarily like. I like it more than Frigibax. Alright, good. That she actually took the initiative and be like, okay, no, you're going in right now. You're not staying outside. Okay, what was the point? What were you trying to do, uh, Quaxley? Okay, is Hatrim going to actually do something? <laughs> All right, there we go. What you needed to do is do a multi, uh, like a spread move that will hit more opponents. So <laughs> first, beat the shit out of you, then I'm gonna heal you. Well, at least she heals them at the end. And also, to be fair to Hatram, Hatram, I think, um, it has only beat up Pokemon that are, you know, like fighting and causing, you know, um, and not necessarily pain, it causing like miscomfort for others around them. Is that the first time we see Hatram since the Primeape episode? Or the Annihilate episode, I guess. <coughs> uh, we don't even need sl uh, what's it called slays on our feet. Oh, ice skates, there we go. That's the that's what I actually I thought about. Ice skates. Skates. Okay. I mean you had the you had the perfect opportunity to maybe spend some time with Hatram Liko. Because this is winter, you know, like it would make sense that Florgato might want to stay in the ball. Like, oh, it's a cup chew, I think. Yeah, cup chew. Hmm. 
I mean, it makes sense. You've never seen snow, so... It makes sense you're in a place with a lot of Pokemon you've never seen. Because judging by those trees, it's an area that ha actually has seasons. <coughs> now wait, you almost killed your own, your own child. Come on, Roy, defeat it. Please, actually battle it. All right, nice. Working together, we get three and one. Oh. Oh, okay. I would like to sometimes see them actually battling and winning. Obviously, I think they did win that. Like, I would actually see them win win. In that case, you know, like, ah, it's just a Pokemon protect. Protecting a child, you know. Uh, so do you really want to knock it out? But even though you never should have had to do that, you know, you never should have had to do that. I am. I'm not the best trainer. I should have used Hatram. Okay, you know, you're in the, the log cabin, reminiscing on your journey. Oh. So actually, I hope we get a few episodes of actually traveling. That's what it seems like they're setting up. That maybe we'll get two episodes of traveling. Uh, oh god, excuse me. Are you gonna throw it up in the air? Oh no. I thought I was gonna do like ash catch and throw it up in the air and see which way to go. But no, they're, they're gathering firewood. Oh, hello. Blue, blue, blue job. Good job, Hogator. You got one stick. <sighs> like, oh man, we don't want to stay out during the snow. Gator is gonna return <laughs> and see that. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Careful for Coco. Those sticks are not worth it. Just let it go. <laughs> oh, God. So that right there is quite similar to the Roy, the episode where Killer Water all evolved. You know, with Roy trying to get the Capsa Kid. Now Fukuoka is in the same predicament. Are you gonna cause that avalanche by screaming? Even though they're not really on a cliff, but... Or a sloping cliff. <sighs> no, I'm a Frigibax. 
Get away from me, human. You're walking in a circle. And to be fair, going in a circle is probably the best. Because, I mean, her gator is probably gonna go back to a place that you guys have been, right? And just blindly walking in a direction. You might be walking further away from her gator. And I mean, we'll say this that we're seeing right now. Oh, come on. Don't tell me they're not going to see each other. Oh, he's back. And now you're all alone. All right. So maybe Fococo is going to defeat the bear tech. Oh, no. Is Fococo going to evolve? At first I was kind of like, oh god, what are they doing? But I think they might be setting up for Coco evolving. I got it. What, what about Wattrell? Oh, Killer Wattrell, where, where is it? Has it returned to you and said, like, nope, I haven't found anything? Or is it still up in the air, searching, freezing to death? Yeah, I mean, it's good seeing that he cares, but then you think about, oh yeah, the only Pokemon Roy cares about is for Coco. Like for example, if Kilowattrel would have been in this situation, would Roy have cared as much? Obviously not. Uh, would Roy even attempt to save Kilowattrel? Probably not. Um, so it is kind of like, eh. I mean, it does sound so spooky. <clears throat> I mean, it's so weird how the episode started and then how it's ending. It feels like two completely different episodes. <sighs> oh, and you're here as well, Kilowattro. Like, it's okay to have you here, I guess. That means bear tick is here as well. Just put him in, in the Pokeball. Oh god, it's a trick. Roy, just put Fukoko in the Pokeball 
and move on. Oh wait, I look like a cup chew now. Oh, so that's okay. Okay, what? What is going on? Okay, um, Jesus. I kind of wish we would have focused on Liko and Dot and just be like, oh, Roy is missing, who cares? And then at the end of the episode, Roy comes back and like, oh man, you won't believe what I went through. And then we'll be like, we don't care, Roy. Shut the fuck up. Like cuddling with Fukoko, dancing. <sighs> I'm kind of like, what was the point of this episode? This to me feels a lot like a Johto filler episode, I'll be honest. Okay. Um, I don't care, Freed. Let's just go to um, the preview. Let's see. What is the preview for next episode? Alright, so next episode I actually get there. Oh no, it's not... Okay, wait, I thought they were going to where Grusha is. But no, it's Roy. Okay, we're seeing Wattrel, Killer Wattrel might actually be allowed to do something. Um, I hope that's the case. I'm not going to get too excited because, I'll be honest, what I'm expecting is that what they're going to do is that they're just going to make it so that Killer Wattrel loses immediately. That's what I'm expecting. Kilowattrel, I don't think they would ever let Kilowattrel actually do something. Um, and then Fukuoko is probably gonna evolve. And, hmm. Will Roy win? I hope so. And I think... Hmm. Yeah, I think they're gonna let Roy win. I think Roy is gonna win, and then Liko will win as well. Um, but I'm expecting Kilowattrel to do nothing during the battle, and then Fukuoko is gonna defeat two Pokemon. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye.